New tonight, just a week and a half before the new academic year begins. Some parents in South Austin are threatening to pull their kids from school if safety upgrades aren't made soon. So what is Austin ISD doing? We sent Nabil Ramadna to find out. School safety has been a top priority for many districts across Central Texas, but here at Austin ISD, some parents are concerned with an elementary school in South Austin. Oak Hill Elementary. In just a few weeks, parents like Melissa Nesland will be dropping their kids off for the first day of school. We love this school and that's why we're still here. But she has concerns. If changes aren't made, I can't continue to stay here. And it's all about safety. She says there are fencing issues and some of the gates are held together with zip ties. Our kids and these teachers and these staff deserve to be in a safe place. She's not alone. Parents will Dupuy. This is uh, definitely an antiquated uh, floor plan. And Lauren Wolf. The classrooms and the layout need it needs to be addressed. It just it just does worry about the school's open floor plan. Classrooms flow into classrooms. The libraries open in the middle. Low walls, shared walls, classrooms without doors. Austin ISD tells us they're conducting safety audits of every campus and that every work order involving matters of safety goes to the top of the list and is immediately dealt with. The district also has a bond up for vote this year. Both plans on the table allocate more than $18 million for safety upgrades at Oak Hill Elementary including reconfiguring the open concept floor plan and making the school's entryway more secure. But that could take time, and parents say they need changes now. If we have to wait on remodeling, then something needs to be done in the interim. Come walk this school. Have you stepped foot in this school? Because I guarantee if you had, you're probably not sending your kids to school here, especially in light of the recent shootings. Nabil Ramadna, KXAN News. And right now on KXAN.com, we have a map that shows how much schools would receive in the proposed 2022 AISD bond program, as well as some of the upgrades those schools could see.